Hello fellow stackers, Cactus Jack here. As you can see, a small herd of buffalo came to visit. And it's one of the most iconic coins. It's, or rounds, I should say. And, you know, it reminds me of the Old West. And that's one of the reasons I decided to put Geronimo's postcard out. Because he was around when these guys were plentiful. And not as many of them today, obviously. But if you're going to stack around, you could do a lot worse than this. The price is right, and a lot of people claim this is their favorite round, and I can see why. It, it is beautiful. So I was lucky enough to get five of them, and they'll be going in this tube. And I wanted to shift gears. I was waiting for a coin to come to do a video on July 4th, because even though I think it's probably more appropriate to do it on Veterans Day, I wanted to do it July 4th. And without getting on my soapbox, which is easy to do these days because I don't like, like many of you, I don't like what's going on. I don't like what I see in the news. I don't like the way the American values and our founding fathers are being attacked. But you've heard enough about that. <laughs> I don't have to add to it. But this is my dad, was my dad. And he was very proud of serving in World War II. He was a chief pharmacist on the Admiral's flagship. Chief Petty Officer, and uh, because he was a little bit older than most of the guys, I think he was in his late 20s, and most of the guys on the on the ship were probably under 20 years old, except for his superior officers. Matter of fact, one of his, his well, the, the head, the Admiral himself, actually won the Congressional Medal of Honor in World War I, and then he won the uh, Navy Cross and a bunch of other medals, too, so he was quite a guy. And when my dad, uh, when the ship got into Philadelphia and they had Liberty, uh, my mom would come down from Boston to be with him. And uh, the Admiral really took a liking to my dad and uh, would take my mom and my dad out to dinner and that. And my mom didn't know that he had won the Congressional Medal of Honor until I told her, because I didn't know. I found out not that many years ago. Um, and I guess that's one of the reasons my dad was assigned to the Admiral's flagship. You know, loose lips sink ships. He wouldn't tell you if you were on fire. He was a combination of um, Ozzy Harriet, you know, Ozzy Nelson, and uh, the Booter, I think. I don't want to build him up too much because he was my dad, but he was very special to me. And he passed away just before 9-11, and that's probably a good thing because I don't think he would have understood that. He was a true patriot. He was quiet about it, but he was a true patriot. And if he were alive today, I don't know what he would make of this, what's going on. So, But I don't have a picture of his brother, Uncle Frank, but I wanted to... Um, this is the coin I was hoping to arrive for July 4th. I really wanted to talk about this. It's a half ounce, and it's a Canadian coin, and it really celebrates the Black Devils, the Devils Brigade, the First Special Service Forces, it was a combination of Canadian and American soldiers, and they were tough as nails. And my uncle proudly served. He was a sergeant in the platoon. It's from Canada, so they have the Queen's image on the back. But I didn't get to know him too well, and he was one of the few people in his unit that made it back because they were assigned the tough tasks. They had to take a German stronghold mountain on the way into Rome, and... Um, out of 800 of them that went up the mountain, I think only 150 came back, and he was one of them. But even though he survived, you know, he had severe PTSD, they call it shell shock back then, and he was never the same. But, you know, it makes me sad when I look at my dad, you know, who loved this country so much, and my uncle who served in one of the most elite forces you, you could serve in, and, you know, talk about a patriot. Um, if it wasn't for his unit, I don't know what would have happened. Um, even his, the general that was in the unit, he was the f youngest two-star general in history. I forget his name now. And he would jump out of the plane with them. And he actually jumped once. He had a broken leg, and he had them make a special cast for him. Imagine a general jumping out of a plane with a broken leg just so he could be with his men. That's, that's what that unit was all about. So, you know, not to get too morbid or too much on my soapbox, but with what's happening today, when I think of men like this that served this country 
and you know so many gave their lives and now look at what's happening I'm hoping that it, it's a wake-up call I'm hoping that things turn around but all right before I get too morbid um, I hope you enjoyed the video as 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 negative as I might have sounded if you did please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and as always your comments are very welcome on any aspect of the video or just in general how you feel about the way things are going. All right, see you next time. Thanks.